Hello guys, we are back in the brewery today. Um, you'll notice my B80 is about per nearly all the way full. Um, I've actually just thoroughly cleaned it with uh, TSP um, and PBW, so it's extremely clean. I've got some other components inside of the uh, inside of the vessel here. I'm about ready to uh, passivate this guy. I've done it once before. Um, I'm going to do it again though, because um, I also need to passivate my um, SS Brutech Unitank right there, and that guy has been thoroughly cleaned, um, CIP'd a couple of times, um, and appears to be uh, perfectly clean. So right now I'm going to use, uh, we should put the lid on it, um, this five star, five star acid number five. Um, this acid is one of the things it's used for is passivation. Um, it's pretty much cheaper than star sand. Uh, to do the job, I think it's better. Although you could use Star Sand, um, you could use Barkeeper's Friend or some Barkeeper's product. Um, you could also use Citric Acid, I think, as well. Um, I'm just going to run the Star Sand. I mean, <laughs> the Five Star uh, Acid Number Five. I'm going to um, put in here about uh, one ounce of this per uh, gallon of water, um, and I have my system right now set to 150 degrees. So let's add this acid and then, uh, yeah, it's actually that simple. All right, so here we go. That acid number five is going in. Definitely gloves are advised. Also probably safety glasses are also advised, but uh, at least I have on the gloves. So there we go. And there's the uh, lasted measure of asset number five going in. Um, so as this thing goes, I'm going to set a timer for probably about 30 minutes. Um, I'm going to have some time where I'm pumping it out into the, um, into the unit tank. Uh, but I don't know, 30, 45 minutes at this temperature, you're probably fine. Um, there will be kind of a stage here where this all changes colors. It'll be kind of a blue color um, here eventually. So I'll see if I can catch that. You guys can see it, but you know, really PBW, you know, CIP, you may have to get in there and do some scrubbing to get everything off, especially around the heating elements. Um, I use like a carboy brush and or a microfiber and uh, usually does a really good job. So I'll quit yakking come back when uh, this guy changes color. All right, guys, so the B80 is about done. Um, did kind of change like a blue color. I even put on uh, my blue lights, hoping it would kind of help uh, show up on camera, but yeah, it's not showing up, even with the lights. Um, but yeah, it's full of the uh, five star acid number five, plenty hot. I'm gonna put it into this guy little upset that I made a mess on this thing and got like PBW on the coat. I'm gonna have to take it off and wash it. But it also isn't cut quite right uh, for the legs in the fermenter. Um, SS Brutech, I reached out to him like two weeks ago about it um, and haven't heard back. Uh, basically what happened was since the legs aren't cut right, it pulled tight and I ripped some of the seams. You can see some Gorilla tape down there in the lower left. Um, not the end of the world, but for what it cost, I would expect them to it's just, it's not cut right. It's pulled pinched tight in spots. So anyhow, back to the passivation. Uh, so basically what you'll do is then uh, with this guy, you, you basically want to let it air dry thoroughly. I will probably blow out the chiller and whatnot, um, hang the hoses because, you know, silicone probably doesn't need to uh, passivate, right? <laughs> so um, I will kind of disassemble everything, let everything air dry, um, pull out the, uh, the malt pipe, let that air dry inside the machine, I'll probably blow it out with uh, compressed air, the pump and stuff. I don't know that it should just sit inside of there indefinitely. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much it in a nutshell. It's super simple. I really recommend um, the acid number five. I've used it several times. Uh, it works great. Definitely if you're doing like a B150, um, that would be a lot of star sand like a crazy amount of star sand to get it done. 
So, yeah, I'm going to quit rambling. I'll probably show you guys pumping some stuff. Actually, I'll cut this whole part out. This is, this is BS. You don't want to listen to this. All right. All right, so here we are pumping uh, the same acid number five I used to passivate the uh, B80 Pro through my mess of uh, hoses and lines. No gloves on this hand because uh, my gloves are somewhere else and I'm pretty lazy. Um, so yeah, just filling it up. Anyone that's got a um, SS, or, you know, a Unitank or Conical or pretty much anything, Grainfather, um, Spike, any kind of fermenter, this is, this is how I do it. So just one ounce uh, per gallon, acid number five, get it around 150 degrees, let it sit an hour, 45 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever you want, then let it air dry and you are good to go. All right, guys, so here we are. Um, uh, SS Brewtech is currently sitting and passivating itself. Um, B80 is clean as can be. It looks brand new. A couple spots right by the elements that I couldn't get my fingers in and ran out of patience, but, uh, uh, you know, she's ready to go for uh, another, uh, hopefully, a lot of brews. So I hope this was useful for anybody. Uh, here's an up close of a five star acid number five pause that if you want want to thank everybody for watching once again i hope this is useful and yeah that's it hope it was useful <laughs> all right guys remember this has been bradley thank you so much and remember home brewing is good see you soon